Hello and welcome to an introduction to programming using Visual Basic Exercises for Beginners. In this exercise we are going to simulate a voting machine. We are to write a program that handles an election. When the program is first run, the label at the top of the page should read as follows Nominate Candidate to enter a candidate or Start Voting to end nominations and start the voting. The program should add each candidate to a list box as he or she is nominated. After the nomination process is complete, club members should be able to approach the computer one at a time and double click on the candidate of their choice. When the tally votes button is clicked, a second list box showing the number of votes received by each candidate should appear alongside the first list box. Also the names of the candidates with the highest number of votes should be displayed in a message box. So this is our form, we will click nominate candidate and uh, an input dialog box will appear, we will enter the names and each time we enter a name it will be entered in the list box. Then we'll click start voting, now be able to double click any of the names and each double click equals one vote. And then when we click the tally votes button, this list box will appear with the number of votes for each candidate and a message box declaring the winner or winners because there could be multiple winners. So I'm in Visual Studio 2015, let's start coding. The first thing I'm going to create is a variable called totals, which will be an array of integers. And that one I'll declare as form level. This one will simply hold the number of votes for each candidate. Now, the next thing, I'm going to nominate candidate. So the first thing, I'll create a variable, I'll call it candidate, and the name of the candidate will be entered via the input box. So our candidate equals and we'll call the input box and ask please enter the name of the candidate. And as we enter the candidate we can now enter this candidate in our list box of candidates. So now after we finish adding all candidates we'll start voting. So I'll double click the start voting button and uh, to start voting we'll basically just change the instructions on the form. By default it says click nominate candidate to enter a candidate or start voting to end nominations and start the voting. So we will now change the text to read something like vote for a candidate by double clicking on his or her name. So this is my text for the instruction label. So once we click the voting button we can start double clicking on the list box with the candidate names. So I'll double click on this. However this one says selected index changed. That's not the event we want. What we want is the double click event. So I'll just override it and type double click. So this will be a double click event when we click on the name and um, we're going to add the vote every time the name is entered or clicked to our totals. So first since it's an array we need to redeem the array and we have to preserve any votes that were already in it. So we will use a redeem and preserve. And we want to redeem it to the number of elements or names in our list box. So we will do an LST candidates dot items dot count. So we will count all the all the indexes and that will give us the number of indexes we need in our totals array. So now we can add plus one or add another vote to the candidate that was currently clicked. So we will do our totals and the index of this candidate is the same as the index in the list box. So our LSD candidates that selected index is also the index in our totals. Basically they are parallel. The indexes in totals array correspond with the indexes in the list box. So we will add plus equals one vote. And now we can display a message box simply saying thank you for voting and this particular candidate. So we'll use message box and we'll type thank you for voting for and we'll concatenate the name of the candidate which is going to be taken from the list box. So it's going to be the LST candidates that selected item. However selected item is an object so we have to convert it to string. So that will give us the name of the candidate. And finally we are going to tally the votes. The first thing we need to make the votes list box uh, enabled or visible because by default I have it invisible because we only want to display the votes 
at the end after the voting ends we don't want to see how the candidates are getting votes so we will do lst votes dot visible and it equals true and now we can display the votes in this uh, list box and we can use simple for each loop and we are looping through the totals because we are going to display the totals for each of the names and we are adding the vote now the way this works is let's say we have four candidates in this list box so we will have four lines and then there will be four lines in the vote uh, list box in other words the first line for the candidate corresponds with the first line of the votes second line is the candidate's name and, and second line in the votes is the number of votes for this second candidate and so forth so again these are parallel and since the co indexes correspond we can now loop through the totals the first i'm going to create another array and i'll call it winners and it will have the number of indexes equal to the count of the totals so our totals array dot count and of course minus one and this is going to be an array of integers this one will hold the indexes of the candidates with the highest score because there could be one but potentially more people with the same number of votes that's why i have it as an array instead of just a single integer so now we have to determine what was the highest number of votes so we will create another integer i'll call it highest and it will equal the highest number from our totals so it will be totals dot max so again there could be more people having the same number of votes but this is the maximum number of votes that any of the candidates received so now that we have the highest number of votes for any of the people in our candidates list box now we can loop through the totals and find each total that is equal to the highest in other words we'll find every candidate that received this number of votes so we will loop through the totals dot count minus one of course and we will do any statement and if the totals that we are currently looping through which would be the index of i equals the highest then we will add that person or that candidate to our winners so our winners of i and this is important because the index of i in this case also corresponds with the index in the candidates list box so we will simply add one to it so if this is uh, one of the winners we will add one and if it's not then we will add zero so at the end of this loop we'll have uh, at least one person associated with a value of one and bunch of others with zeros if there are multiple winners all those with the highest uh, number of votes will have number of one associated with their name so now we can loop through our all winners and uh, add them together so i'm going to create a string i'll just call it all winners and this will be basically a string that concatenates all the names of the winners so we will loop through our winners array and now we will see if the winner has one and if it is then it's one of the winners we will ignore everyone with the zero because those are the candidates that lost so if the winners with the index of i if this one equals one then we have one of the winner and we can add that name to our all winners string so we will do concatenate all winners plus equals and the name we are looking for is the name that is in the candidates list box like i said before the indexes correspond to each other so the winners of i is the same name as the name in the candidates with the item i so we will do lst candidates that items and we are looking through the and you can see that it's an item of the integer and um, the integer is the index of the item of the collection to get or set and in this case it's again i and uh, we have to convert it to string and if there are more names we'll concatenate a comma so after this loop all winners will have a bunch of names separated by comma and we can now display the message box with all the names because those are the winners of the election so we can display the message box that says the winner is or are and we will display the all winners which is a string so it's gonna be all the names in one line 
and we can concatenate the number of votes that they won with and the number of votes are the same for all of these people because they all reach the highest number of votes or it's just one person who reached the highest number of votes so it's again going to be the totals dot max and we'll concatenate the word votes all right so let's test it and you can see i'm getting the input box first and i can see why it's because i have it in the load event for the form i'll just copy this code and cut it and place it into the button click event for the nominate because that's where it belongs all right so let's run it again so here's my form and i click nominate candidate and let's do power one let's another one will be power two and you can see they are being added power three and let's do power four so now i have four candidates i click start voting and you can see now the text changed and now i'll double click a few of the names so i'll double click each of the name first and i get thank you for voting for power one power two power three power four and let's the power two and power three have the same number of votes which is two so at the end i'll click tally votes and you can see that it adds the votes it displays the list box and you can see that power two and power three indeed have two votes and power one and four have one and the message box says the winner are power two and power three with two votes so that works correctly now let's run it again this time I'm going to just have one winner so again I'll double click all of them to give them one vote and I'll make Pavel free the winner with two votes so when I click tally votes you can see that he has two votes all the others have one and Pavel free is the winner with two votes so this is working correctly I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next video